everyone welcome to simply Anne. today I am showing you a condolences card and here it is and it kind of looks sparkly because of the background but that's just printed however the shine that you're seeing on these flowers is actually coming from a project called microbeads and I'll show you a little more about that in this tutorial there's the front here's the inside more microbeads on this butterfly here and stick with me and I'll show you how to make this Today I'll be working with some fun microbeads and this comes in the splash color. It also comes in other colors but this is a really nice light blue called splash and they're just tiny little um, spheres of glass and they're kind of like those glass seed beads except there's no hole and they're very very tiny. So. They roll away easily so I would recommend putting down like a towel or something so they won't um, escape and get all over your floor. And I'm also going to use the Floral Fantasy Ribbon Set. And here they are. There are six various ribbons and they all go nicely with the Floral Fantasy Artful Card Kit which is right here. And here are the papers to it. I'll just go through it quickly. They are not double sided, they are single sided, they are 8.5 by 11, perfect for card making but you could also use pieces of them in your scrapbooks or if you have a smaller size scrapbook that would be perfect as well. And they also have the greetings and the blanks and lots and lots of variety in those greetings and three sheets of heavyweight cardstock die cuts and these are very simple to just pop out from the background so no fussy cutting there and then we also have lots of different images so not only the big um, labels and ornate frames but also images such as butterflies flowers that's why it's called floral fantasy um, and in this set there's a little bit since it's called fantasy there's some elements of um, there's some night sky, some twinkling, and as well the color combination of the muted yellows, greens, blues, and browns, and grays have that um, sense as well. And the, as you can see here, there's some fantastical kind of imagery with the night sky or the sunset and the sparkles in the sunset there. Um, and lots of vintage... Um, looking imagery as well especially in these ornate frames there's so much detail in these they're really beautiful and, and especially when you pair them with these really pretty um, green and blue gradient flowers um, they have a really special look and here's one that's already got a flower inside the frame you could put a um, greeting in there or a picture anything you want so we've got all those oh and I did show you the two borders here and here so those are really fun too so with that let's get started alright so I've chosen this die cut to be the focal point of my card and I'm gonna do something a little different with it here's the sheet that I punched it out from if you're curious because there are two similar images There's, that one's just a mirror image I think um, so first what I'm going to do something a little unusual I'm going to cut off the leaves and this is because I just want to work with the blue flower arrangement without the leaves however and you can leave the leaves off if you want but I'm going to attempt to save them um, and then kind of reattach them or rearrange them later so I'm gonna just cut off the leaves and then set them t aside. So there's that. I'm just going to set those aside. And I have these Cooltech um, Ultra Clear Adhesive Sheets. This is double sided permanent tape and it's in sheet form. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And pull out one of these sheets. And the pink that you're seeing is just the transparent backing, so it's actually perfectly clear. What I'm going to do is cut out, um, and this is a good time to use these nice 
non-stick scissors. I'm just going to cut out a chunk to fit onto my die cut. I'm going to peel off one of these backing layers. Turns out to be the white one. And I'm just going to place this right onto my die cut, just like that. Now this stuff is super, super sticky. Just a word of warning. Once you have it on, you won't be able to take it off. Now I'm going to take my scissors, or if you prefer, you can use a craft knife, and just cut around the edges of my die cut and I can just cut a chunk at a time if I wish to make it a little bit easier so everything doesn't get stuck to my scissors. And I would use the non-stick scissors except the small blades are easier for these detailed curves here. And I'll show you what that looks like using a craft knife. There's the retractable blade craft knife, super handy. So I'll just kind of follow the curves here and I can take away a little bit at a time just like that alright so now I've created this sticky front die cut and this of course is the other transparent side of the backing so what I have now is this um, just a toothy kind of rag material. It's, this is, happens to be flannel, um, but you can use a dish rag, a towel of any sort, shape, or size. Um, whatever will keep these tiny microbeads from slipping and rolling off of your craft surface. And so now comes the fun part. I'm going to take off the backing. There we go. So there's that transparent backing. Throw that away. And then, so this is extremely, extremely sticky. Just set it in the middle of my towel here. And I'm going to take the micro beads. And I've just put them in a slightly larger container here for easier control. And I have the bottom of my uh, towel just curled a little bit to catch them in case they decide to roll down. But I'm just going to sprinkle these on top. And they have a really lovely texture. Thicker than glitter, but not quite as thick as normal beads, um, as in beading beads. It's not quite like rhinestones. There's really nothing like these <laughs> micro beads. They're translucent little balls and they really catch the light in all these different facets so it makes it really pretty to look at. Now I'm just going to burnish them with my finger. I'm going to rub off the excess micro beads and you'll still see that um, the image of the die cut showing through from the background and you want to burnish this enough so that you just have a single layer of micro beads and then with the excess you can just go ahead and pour those back into your container and save them for later so I'm gonna go ahead and finish burnishing this so I zoomed way in on this hopefully it's clear for you guys but the result is pretty amazing it actually almost looks like a holographic effect but uh, cooler to me. It's got this glassy texture to it, but it's also almost shimmery. Um, I'm hoping the camera is doing it justice right now, but it's just beautiful in person. Um, you really have to try this technique to <laughs> appreciate it. So this is going to be the focal point of my card. So here's my finished card. I went ahead and completed it. Um, first, this is a six and a half inch by five inch blank white card and I went ahead and covered the front with this black 
um, stars background paper and I left just a thin white border and then what I did was I layered these pieces on top of it. First I have this uh, wide ivory or cream colored crepe ribbon. I just uh, glued that across here. I just used some zips, uh, glue strips, or you could use some of that cool tech adhesive. Um, and I just glued that on. And then I layered this large label die cut on there, cut off this edge. I cut out condolences and, and foam taped that up. As you can see, there's a little bit of dimension there. And I glued a little ribbon up on this corner. Then I started with this piece here, and this is actually foam taped. So I glued this piece, but I positioned it very carefully so it would overlap in a way that I wanted. And the, the leaves are glued on separately. As you can see, they're kind of tucked under a little bit, so there's no empty edges showing. And it just kind of looks like part of the flower. And, um, and they're on different levels, so the leaves are glued down flat and the flower is foam taped up. And so that's the front of my card. Opening it to the inside, I did do an inside today. <laughs> so I have just a strip of this floral paper going across the top. It's a, an inch and a half wide. And this butterfly has also been covered with the micro beads. And since it's primarily black, you can't see the blue of the beads as well, but it does give a really nice shimmer and shine and texture. Um, to the butterfly, which is also foam taped. So what I glued on first was this paper strip. Then I cut out the forever in our hearts and glued that down. Then I punched out this die cut, glued that down, finally foam taping the butterfly and adding the ribbon. So um, if you have any questions about this, please add it in your comments. But otherwise, thank you for joining me and please stay tuned for today's bundle. First in today's bundle is the Floral Fantasy Artful Card Kit. Here are the papers. I'll just go through them one by one. This one's a really lovely corner um, embellished design with the floral corner and it's got lots of layering in here. If you can see there's some sparkles and flashes of light, um, some music notes. And there's a really pretty ornate corner up here in white. So there's just so much going on. It's so interesting to look at. Next we have an all over um, flourish design. This looks kind of like a tapestry pattern. And then we have another tapestry but it's more muted so it's kind of a cream color on this bluish greenish background. It's really pretty. That's one of my favorites. And then we also have a striped and very fantastical looking sheet with lots of lights, uh, flashes of light and sparkles as you can see. And then we have a music note background. Has this subtle um, intricate design, flourish design along this edge. Really fun layering there. So there's music notes and there's also sparkles along the whole sheet. And same with this one, except this one's a black, blackish greenish color. So more of a night sky look. And then we have an all over floral. So it's got these beautiful floral focal points with this white flourishing. This is like really thin line designs in between. And there are white sparkles all over here. So those are the... Um, pattern sheets. Then we have one sheet of greeting labels and um, frames. So these are not die cut. You cut them out yourself but they're really simple lines to follow so that's nice. And we have greetings for every occasion. Sending warm thoughts. Forever in our hearts. Thank you so very much. Dear friend, happy birthday. Condolences with love, etc. etc. And there's I like this that there's greetings that run vertically and there's ones that run horizontally so you can pretty much find a shape that will fit your particular project. Then finally for the finale of the Artful Card Kit of course are the die cuts. So there's some really fun imagery on here. We have a floral corner, lots of details in there. I love these flourishes with all of those intricate swirls 
And then we have this really fun dress form here. Some vintage images of butterflies, flowers, and some artsy leaves with some writing on top. We have love, all separate, all separate letters. And then this funky um, music symbol with the, the treble clef, clef with the... It looks like a leopard print, but it's actually um, a tapestry design printed on there. Then we have this lovely large, and let me just measure that real quick. It's five inches uh, wide, so just to give you an idea. And an intricate lattice pattern. On the second sheet we have another intricate um, border. Some large labels and some flourishes as well. Lovely flowers and butterflies of course. I love the gradient from green, from blue to greenish yellow. And then finally we have this uh, last sheet with some more intricate labels as you can see. So that's the Floral Fantasy Artful Card Kit. And also in today's bundle is the Floral Fantasy Ribbon Set. So we have some really wide crepe ribbon that's a uh, pretty champagne color. Then we have some thin black um, sheer ribbon, some narrow um, sparkly aqua twill, and then some yellow crepe, and a glittery, this is very glittery, um, uh, grow grain ribbon. Oh, and uh, no, don't forget the sheer aqua ribbon as well. So uh, quite a bit of variety in these six ribbons that go pretty very well with the um, Artful Card Kit. And finally we have the micro beads and it comes in a two ounce jar which is plenty for several projects. And when working with these I do recommend you work over a towel or um, a surface where they won't roll away because these are perfectly round and they roll away just like marbles. Um, so these are fun to use with the transparent embossing paste or if you have like an acrylic gel medium you can mix them in and scrape them onto different surfaces over uh, stencils um, onto acetate and let it dry for a clear transparent effect or you can um, just sprinkle them over lines of glue and they'll stick to that. So there's lots of different ways you can use these and I've just shown you one way so hopefully that'll get your imagination started. And that's it for today's bundle. Thank you so much for sticking with me and have a great week!